Okay, now grab your graphing calculator and put that in your hand. You guys read my data good enough? All right, so um, basically the idea of this section is that we're kind of taking uh, real-world scenarios and we're analyzing the data, coming up with a, an equation to best model the scenario. Okay, so these are going to be nonlinear scenarios. Okay, so this one is um, in Mesa, Arizona. We have a fast-growing city. So we are going to estimate the population in the year of 2020. Okay, so we've given, been given this information. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to take this information and plug it into the calculator. So who remembers where you go on your calculator once you turn it on, which might be easier said than done. Okay, so once you hit uh, stat, Hold on, I'm still turning mine on. There we go. There we go, stat. And then what do you hit after stat? Edit. Okay, so once you get to this spot, make sure that you have a list one and a list two. Does anybody not have a list one and a list two? All right, so what I'm going to do, sorry, I didn't mean to get that. Um, I'm going to input my. Um, year, my independent variable, into the list one column, and then my dependent into list two, so it'll be the population. Sorry, this is going to take me a long time, so oh. I'll be perfectly honest, this calculator is so slow. Oh no. That's not good. All right, so when I'm finished, my line should be the same, which mine are not. That's pretty awesome. So I think I actually had two pieces of information in there at the very beginning I need to delete. But make sure that your columns are the same. Delete. Delete. There we go. Everybody with me? Yeah. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to actually look at this this data and I want to decide what kind of model that I want to to use. Um, so from here I'm going to hit second y equals and turn my plots on. Okay, so second y equals. Both of my plots are currently off, so I'm going to just hit on. Make sure that on your list one I should be defaulted this way, but you should have your x list be in list one and your y list be in list two. That should be defaulted. Okay, we're making a scatter plot. Okay, so once we go there, we can have the calculator zoom into our data. So what you push for that to happen is not zoom six, but zoom nine. Zoom nine is into the data. Zoom six is a standard. Does anybody else have something like mine? So did your are your columns the same? Uh -oh. 
They're missing three right there. So three. Oh, yeah. but I have to put them all I think you have to do, yeah. All right, so if we were going to come up with a, a model or an equation to best fit this data, what does this trend line look like to you? A growth, so an exponential growth, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it starts low and then it grows up. It looks like an exponential growth. Okay, as opposed to a possible decay where it starts high and gets small, or a possible, obviously we're doing logs right now. What does a log function look like? Remember what logs look like? So logs start down low and then curl and kind of level off. Okay, so I would say this definitely looks like a growth. It looks like it's getting really big at the very end. Okay, so I'm going to have the calculator generate a regression model, an exponential regression model. So what do I push on the calculator? So I hit stat again. This time it's going to calculate, so we're going to go over to calculate. I'm going to scroll down until I see the one that says an exponential regression model. Okay, or zero, right? Did everybody find that one? Okay, so once you hit enter, it's going to ask you a couple questions, or at least it should, and you're just going to scroll down to calculate. Okay, and it should pop out an exponential model. Okay, so it's giving us the general form. I hope this looks familiar to you. Okay, and then we're just going to fill in the A and the B for this particular exponential model. Okay, so um, I'm going to write this down. Y is equal to, I didn't really look that closely, 1.73 times what? What's the B value? 1.0 what? A is basically zero. Ew. But we don't want it to be zero. Okay, so we need to come up with a better... I might even write that in, in as... I mean, it really should normally be zero, but if I put zero in, what's going to happen to an equation that has zero in front? It's zero, right? That's not really an equation. So, um, okay, let's go back and just make sure that, is that what everybody got? Okay, let's try this. I have an idea. Okay, so, since we have 1990, you guys see this right here? As our first year? I'm going to start that with zero. Oh, okay, so let's do that. So, um, we're going to let 1990 be zero on our list. What's that? 1900 B0. 1900. Oh. 1900. So let's redo that. So we'll go 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90, 100. There we go. Okay, so now when we go back to our home screen, we have to regenerate that equation. So we're going to hit stat over to calc and choose zero. Go down and choose calculate. And hopefully it uses a number that we can actually use. There we go. That's much nicer. Okay, so 0 0.69. Hey, 0.69. What was my B value? 1.067 to the X. Okay, so that is my uh, model. 
Okay, so it's going to ask you to come up with some kind of a model. Okay, and then they generally will ask you some kind of question about um, predicting some kind of future outcome. Okay, so for this one, if we are going to try to predict the population in 2020, what is the value we're going to plug into the equation? 120, good. So if I type that in to the 120, I'm going to let you guys do it since I can hear typing right now. Thousand six hundred four one eight six seven. One six seven. We're just gonna round that to four since we're talking about population and people. Does that sound good to you guys? Okay, so now the next thing before I decide that this is absolutely my answer, does this make sense in terms of the the data? Does that look like that's a possible population in that year? Yeah, I think it, it does. I mean, it seems a little high, but it jumped pretty high pretty quickly. Okay, so I would say that that does make sense in terms of the context of the equation. We can definitely have 1,600 people in an area. Okay, so that would be the answer. Okay, so that is pretty much what you're doing in this entire assignment. Okay, so you're going to be given some data, you're going to be asked to analyze it, you're going to come up with a regression model, and then they'll probably ask you a specific value at a certain time. Okay, do I need to do another example for you? Pretty straightforward. One more example? Okay, I just happen to have one more example. I picked this one because I kind of thought it was interesting. So here is, a, here is one... This one is okay to do because look at, this is a great question, I think. Kind of interesting data. So this is supposed to be the salary of professional football players from 1990 to 2006, so a few years ago. Um, so it's not completely current data. So we can predict and maybe even actually go back in Google and try to figure out if this model actually was correct. In fact, um, 2012 salaries for professional football players. Isn't that kind of a funny thing? Okay, so um, if we're going to input this data, first of all, I hit stat. Okay, and I'm going to do the exact same thing as far as what we did in the last one, where I'm going to have the first year represent zero. Okay, um, I'm also going to clear the data out. Okay, so to clear the data, because in the last set of data I had more numbers, hit, uh, make sure you go and highlight and hit clear, enter. Don't hit delete, because that will delete the whole list and that will cause problems. Ooh, oh my god, I just did that. After I just said not to. Don't worry, I know how to fix it, everyone. Just hit 5. That's pretty awesome. I just did it. Clear, enter. Okay, so I'm going to say 0, 5, 10... Wait, then we go to 12, right? Oh, my bad. What just happened? <laughs> okay. Pause. There we go. Good lord. Okay. Uh, so then I went 10, and then it goes 12, 13. Oh, sorry. Yep. Maybe. I'm afraid I might lose it. How's that? 13, 14, 15, 16. So, and then do realize this is in thousands. We're still going to put the data that's in the table into the graph, into the stat, but not $354 a year. $1,000 a year. 
Man, I should have been a football player. Dang it, I couldn't have. The average. Does this blow anybody else's mind besides mine? I guess not. Okay, so again, I want to look at this to see what it looks like, okay, because I want to know if I should be coming up with an exponential model or a logarithmic model or, or a decay. It's obviously not a decay. Um, so I'm going to hit zoom 9 since I already turned my plots on. I don't have to return them on. Oh, and I have an equation in there from before, so ignore that line. So what would you guys say that looks like to you? An exponential or a logarithmic model? Does it look like it's curling up and going really high, or does it seem like it's going and starting to level out? I think that looks pretty exponential, amazingly enough. So I would go stat, calc, Wait a second, this says fine linear model. How come I cannot move that? So that does say a linear model. Did anybody else notice that? I'm going to come up with a linear model for this one because it says to find a linear equation. So I'm going to go down to calculate. That makes me feel better that at least it's a linear model and not an exponential model. There we go. So notice that the a plus bx is backwards than we normally write it. So the a is my like y-intercept. So it'd be y equals <laughs> Sorry, this is not working right now. What was it, 230? Okay, you guys write it down, because mine is not working. Oh, there it goes. Perfect, that's perfectly written. Plus, what was the other one? What's my 79. slope? 79.4. Okay, so then if we're trying to make a prediction for the year 2012, what number are we going to plug in? Twenty-two, right? Twenty-two years after 1990. So if you plug 22 in, what do you get? One thousand nine hundred what? Seventy-seven. Thousands. So almost two million dollars for the average player. That is? For 2012? Oh, interesting. That's crazy. Two million dollars for the average player. Two million dollars. Yeesh. That's nuts. Alright, so your assignment um, is on page 207. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to have you do uh, 2 through 26. 
two through twenty six events. Page two oh seven. Two oh seven. Okay, so ideally I want you guys to finish this in class, right? Because I don't want calculators going home and you need one of these TI calculators to finish this. Okay, so get to work in class now, pronto. I'll pull this up too if that, meh, I won't do that. 